We're back with Mark Silber as he takes a look at some of the photos from the AYP community and gives feedback on them. Okay, well, listen, I this is a, a cool image. There's um, the lines do really work well together here. You've got a leading line uh, situation with the road itself, but also the leading line of the of the rugs kind of goes to this is to me the center of interest here is this person on a Vespa. And the fact that there's another Vespa behind them also is a point of interest. It works well because you have, you're using your leading lines and you know, the rug, it doesn't throw my attention off the, the center of uh, interest here. It actually, because of that angle, it brings it to that. And even the trees are kind of arching over, creating a cool like framing there, you know? So you've got some really good elements, well done. Excellent. And I think uh, it's interesting, too, that it's like very almost like sepia or de saturated. Yeah, it is. A uh, little it's bit, a nice yeah. contrast to either the black and white. It's like a mix of the black and white and the color where, you know. Mm -hmm. No, it's got uh, a good use of that. I, I think this mean these muted tones here and we've got some color here. But again, you know, this is. This is a tricky thing because you think, well, maybe this could pull your eye, but it really doesn't because it points in the direction of where we want our eye to go, which is the person on the Vespa. All right, who's next? All right, we've got Fernando. I saw that he was in the chat. Uh, this one's called The Kiss. Hey, nice job, Fernando. Obviously, a very professional photo. It looks like somebody's having a baby here, which is pretty cool. And you've got, you know, good use of depth of field. You've got, uh, I don't know if that was natural or you had somebody with a blower or something blowing up her dress. You might let us know. And the colors are perfect. You know, everything goes together because you've got these kind of like muted sort of brownish tones. Tan goes along with her dress. Um, excellent. Good job. I mean, everything about that photo works. All right. Our Boom. next photo is from Anderson. It looks like this we've got a picture a of a street photography session, he said. What do we got going on here? This is a guy. Wait a minute. This is a guy with angel wings or are those angel wings in the door? Right. First, I'm kind of going back and forth. I can't. I don't think he's got them on him. I guess those angel angel wings are painted on that door. I believe so. But your, you know, decisive moment is perfect. And you got his foot coming up here, but you captured him right in the spot where the wings would, you know, coincide. That's a very cool photograph. And the fact that it's black and white, you've got, you know, got a lot of space going on up here, which is just works well. And I love it. I, it's humorous and it's intriguing. And again, it's always good to leave your viewer asking questions. I have a lot of questions, which is good. The wings are on the door. Okay, Anderson. Well, you your time you timed it perfectly, and you didn't just randomly take that image. You got his foot up. Bob Holmes would applaud that because, you know, that's that's part of that whole punctuation point is the foot itself is a punctuation point. Yeah, and the white the white shoes definitely help, you know, match the uh, the wings. That works really well and it definitely works as a black and white. Good job. All right, our next one before I show you, I'm going to tell you the name. It's called Street Fight. It's called what? Street Fight. Okay. Street Thugs, right? And this is from Familia. <laughs> a street fight that's pretty funny. Look at those ferocious dogs <laughs> trying to beat each other up. That's a cool shot, everyday life. Um, in where is this? I'm uh, guessing. I, I did, he didn't say where, but I'm guessing in Romania. I know okay. you're in the chat, so you can let us know uh, where where you took it. Okay, it's a, it's a cool like look at everyday life. I love the boys looking back, you know, that works really well. You know, 
you could argue, well, should just the the two dog people and the dogs be in focus and the rest of it not? I, I think it works really well because it's, again, it's like a slice of life. And even these guys over here, you know, standing over there looking at this, everybody's looking at this dog fight. And that's obviously the story here. And you're telling a story like, you know, when I look at a photograph, I, I want to, what story is this picture telling me? You know, does it tell me a story? And you guys are spot on today. You're all telling me stories, which is what's intriguing. So great work. All right. This one is from Daniel, uh, and uh, this was taken in Budapest. You guys are just, what is going on here? You guys are awesome. I mean, I, I have nothing to critique in, a, in, a, in the sense of, well, you could have tried this or that. All right. This is, again, wonderful. You've got the guy on the bench, obviously center of interest, framed, which is, you know, a framing technique of having that arch, which is basically like a window. You know, the eye, our eyes love to look through windows. We love to look through things and see what's on the other side. And it's a very appealing thing. And then you've got, you know, you've got these stairs, which is like a natural way of leading your eye up. So you're controlling my view very effectively. And then this light i guess there's some other street lights here too because we've got several reflections here um but that works really well it doesn't distract from from our silhouetted guy and that's the other thing he's silhouetted it's a it's a wonderful shot a wonderful image all right our next one is from ram and it's called uh it's either called or the caption with it was spot the runner Spot the runner. Yeah. Oh, are nice. you able to see? The I do. I think. In the photo. Right yeah. here, right? There's yeah, our punctuation small, point. But... You know, without that punctuation point, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's an interesting uh, sunset, I'm guessing. Maybe it's sunrise. But with that, it's fantastic. And that's where that punctuation can elevate, absolutely elevate your your image. The, the misty, I'm guessing that's morning. Let us know. That would be my guess, too. Yeah, because you usually see that kind of mist in the morning, which is bravo to you. You got up early, it looks like. And you're getting this incredible early morning light, I'm again guessing, with the, with the runner in the mist. Uh, Cape Town, South Africa at 7.20 p.m. I was absolutely wrong. So it's nighttime. Okay. Well, cool. So either way, it works beautifully. And fantastic. Whatever. You guys are putting me out of work here. You're just doing such a great job. I, all I can do is tell you why your photograph looks great, which you probably already know. All right. Here's Ooh. Mark Rowe. Is there a title for this one? I, um, I don't believe that there was a title, but this was taken as part like a fall portrait series that uh -huh. he did like last November. I see. Uh, I'm looking to see if there was anything else. Yeah, some portrait work from November 2016, 2019. It's such a, you know, the remarkability of the costume. I mean, the girl's very pretty. She's got an interesting expression of almost like a question. You know, there's something there, you know, that makes me ask a question. But this head thing that she's got is, you know, framing her hair and her head. And it, again, this photograph leaves me asking questions, which is great. What is going on here? Now I know. But, you know, the photograph itself, we want to make images that don't require captions and don't require a, a description. It's fine to do that, but you know, it's like a soundtrack of a movie. You should be able to get what's going on without hearing the soundtrack in a, in a well-made film. You should be able to just look at the image and it tells you the story. Well, this has a story behind it 
And it leaves me again asking questions. Well done. We hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like and leave a comment. We love to hear from you. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can know when all of our future videos come out. And finally, be sure to get out there and capture your own images of life.